friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq of masonry construction so the first question the line of intersection of the surface of sloping roof forming an external angle exceeding 180 degree is option a ridge option b valley option c hip option d none of the above so the correct answer is option c hip so next question the portion of brick cut across the width is called option a bit option b closer option c bat option d half brick so the correct answer is option c bat so next question the piece of brick cut with its one corner equal to half the length and half the width of full brick is known as option a beveled closer option b king closer option c queen closer option d king half king closer so the correct answer is option b king closer so next question the brick laid with the breadth parallel to the face of wall is known as option a stretcher option b header option c closer option d none of these so the correct answer is option b header so next question the form of from the underside of slab can be removed after option a one day option b four day option c seven day option d 14 day so the correct answer is option c 7 days so next question queen closer may be placed option a in stretcher course option b in stretcher course next to the first brick option c in header course option d in header course next to the first brick so the correct answer is option d in header course next to the first brick so next question the under surface of arch is called option a intrados option b hornach option c soffit option d back so the correct answer is option c soffit so next question the exterior angle between outer face of wall is known as option a turn option b queen option c junction option d all the above so the correct answer is option b queen so next question the depth of an arc is distance between option a crown and sprinkling line option b ground level and sprinkling line option c crown and ground level option d intrados and extrados so the correct answer is option d intrados and extrados so next question in expansion joints in masonry walls are provided if the length exceeds option 18 meter option b 20 meter option c 30 meter option d 40 meter so the correct answer is option d 40 meter So next question the inclined surface of abutment to receive the arch is known as option A soffit option B spandrel option C skew back option D hona so the correct answer is option C skew back so next question for brick construction the lime sand mortar is option A 1:1 option B 1:3 option C 1:4 option D 1:2 so the correct answer is option D 1:2 So next question an arch constructed with finely dressed stone is known as option A ascular arch option B gouged arch option C rubble arch option D axed arch so the correct answer is option A ascular arch So next question the position of brick when laid on its side 9 cm into 9 cm with its frog in vertical plane is called option A brick on end option B brick on edge option C brick on bed option D brick held vertically so the correct answer is option A brick on end so next question dutch bond is modification of option A english bond option B structure bond option C english bond option D single flemish bond so the correct answer is option a english bond so next question the 19 cm into 9 cm side of brick as seen in the wall face in generally known as option a stretcher option b front option c face option d header so the correct answer is option a stretcher so next question the type of acrylic masonry in which stone or finely chiseled dressed and thickness of joint does not exceed 3 mm is option a coarser acrylic masonry option b random coarser acrylic masonry option c acrylic facing masonry option d chamfered acrylic masonry so the correct answer is option a coarser acrylic masonry so next question 
हेरिंग बोन बॉन्ड इज यूज फॉर ऑप्शन ए आर्किटेक्चरल फिनिश टू फेस वर्क ऑप्शन बी ऑर्नामेंटल पैनल्स इन द ब्रिक फ्लोरिंग ऑप्शन सी वॉल हैविंग थिकनेस मोर देन फोर ब्रिक्स ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द क्रॉस जॉइंट अलॉन्ग द प्लम लाइन इज ऑप्शन ए लिंडल ऑप्शन बी बेड ब्लॉक ऑप्शन सी वेटिकल लाइन ऑप्शन डी पेर बेंट सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी पेर बेंट सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए कवरिंग ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट प्लेसड ऑन द एक्सपोज टॉप ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल वॉल इज नोन एज ऑप्शन ए कॉर्नाइज ऑप्शन बी लिंडल ऑप्शन सी चॉपिंग ऑप्शन डी फ्रीज so the correct answer is option c chopping so next question which one of the following piles have a cast iron shoe even after removal of the hollow cylinder steel casing option a simplex pile option b pedestal pile option c vibro pile option d both a and d above so the correct answer is option d both a and b above so next question the type of bond in the brick masonry containing alternate course of stretches and headers is called option a flemish bond option b english bond option c stretcher bond option d header bond so the correct answer is option b english bond so next question the type of bond in which every course contains both headers and stretches is called option a english bond option b dutch bond option c facing bond option d flemish bond so the correct answer is option d flemish bond so next question to construct 10 cm thick partition wall you will prefer option a header bond option b flemish bond option c stretcher bond option d english bond so the correct answer is option c stretcher bond so next question the pile which supports the load due to friction between pile face and surrounding soil is generally known as option a sheet pile option b friction pile option c batter piles option d bearing piles so the correct answer is option b friction pile so next question for plastering the exposed brick walls the cement sand mortar should be option a 1 is to 2 option b 1 is to 3 option c 1 is to 4 option d 1 is to 6 so the correct answer is option c 1 is to 4 so next question the local spelling of the finished plaster in term option a dubbing option b hacking option c blistering option d cracking so the correct answer is option c blistering so next question the type of pointing in which upper side of the mortar joints is kept about 12 mm inside the face of the masonry and bottom is kept flushed with the face of what is option a struck pointing option b truck pointing option c grooved pointing option d recessed pointing so the correct answer is option a struck pointing so next question the nominal thickness of the expansion joint in brick walls is kept more than option a 5 mm option b 15 mm option c 10 mm option d 20 mm so the correct answer is option d 20 mm so next question the nominal thickness of one brick wall in mm is option a 200 mm option b 190 mm option c 120 mm option d 90 mm so the correct answer is option a 200 mm so next question before plastering the surface has to be option a rough option b smooth option c clean cemented option d watered so the correct answer is option a rough so next question which of the below is not plaster type based on the material option a cement option b gypsum option c porcelana option d lime so the correct answer is option c porcelana so next question dies are used to press the mortar and spread uniformly option a press option b aluminum rod option c trowel option d floats so the correct answer is option d floats so next question in a lime cement plaster ratio 1 is to 6 corresponding to option a cement is to gravel option b cement is to lime option c sand is to gravel option d lime is to sand so the correct answer is option d lime is to sand so next question which of the below is not plaster finish option a rough coast option b pebble dash option c sand faced option d brick dust faced so the correct answer is option d brick dust faced So next question 
The process of filling hollow spaces of wall before plastering is known as option A peeling, option B blistering, option C hacking, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option B blistering. So next question, a paint normally consists of dash components, option A 3, option B 4, option C 5, option D 6. So the correct answer is option D 6. So next question, the component filler in the paint does not function of option A absorbing oxygen, option B reducing cost, option C consistency, option D smooth spreading. So the correct answer is option B reducing cost. So next question, weep holes are provided in retaining and breast wall is option A to drain off the water from the filling, option B to ventilate the stone masonry, option C to reducing the weight of the earth retained, option D to increase the compaction of the earth retained. So the correct answer is option A to drain of the water from the filling. So next question, vertical construction joints are provided where the searing forces are minimum in the case of option A slab, option B beams, option C gridders, option D all the above. So the correct answer is option D all the above. So next question. A yeah, wall constructed with stones to protect the slopes of cutting in natural ground from the action of weathering reagents is called option A retaining wall, option B breast wall, option C buttress, option D parapet wall. So the correct answer is option B breast wall. So next question, the width of the hollow space between two walls of cavity wall should not exceed option A 15 cm, option B 10 cm, option C 7.5 cm, option D 5 cm. So the correct answer is option B 10 cm. So next question, the x-ray rooms are plastered with option A plasteropyris, option B barium plaster, option C Martin cement, option D keen cement. So the correct answer is option B barium plaster. So next question, the process of working a flat for the finishing coat is known as option A dubbing out, option B floating, option C netting, option D blistering. So the correct answer is option B floating. So next question, the minimum strength of the mortar used in load bearing brick machinery is option A 50 Newton per centimeter square, option B 100 Newton per centimeter square, option C 150 Newton per centimeter square, option D 200 Newton per centimeter square. So the correct answer is option B 100 Newton per centimeter square. So next question, the thickness of the reinforced brick partition wall is generally kept option A 5 cm, option B 15 cm, option C 10 cm, option D 20 cm. So the correct answer is option C 10 cm. So next question, for pointing works, the ratio of mortar used is option A 1 is to 3 to 1 is to 4, option B 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3, option C 1 is to 7 to 1 is to 8, option D 1 is to 5 to 1 is to 6. So the correct answer is option B 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3. So next question, lightweight mortar is prepared by using option A lime, option B surki, option C wooden chips, option D fly ash. So the correct answer is option C wooden chips. So next question, which of the below is added to make mortar fire proof? Option A aluminum cement, option B powdered glass, option C asbestos cement, option D gypsum. So the correct answer is option A, aluminous cement. Again we will see next video. Thank you.